Now we come to the scalar product. See, you have already seen the multiplication of a scalar with a vector. That's quite a different thing. Don't don't get confused with that. Okay, vector. When multiplied by a vector, vector multiplied by vector can be done in two ways. Okay, one is the dot product. Another is the cross product. Okay. Uti to alag ke bolte hai. Okay. This is the dot product. This is the cot product. Uh, cross product. Cross product. The dot product resultant is actually a scalar. And here the resultant is a vector. That's why this is also called a scalar product. And the cross product is called a vector product. Okay. Fine. A scalar by a vector. Scalar multiplied by a vector we have already studied. So this is like k into a. This is a vector. Don't start getting confused between them. The scalar multiplies with the vector. You get the vector in the same or the opposite direction according as the scalar is a positive or a negative thing, negative real number and the length gets multiplied by whatever scalar you are multiplying it with. Okay. So, we are right now doing the, the scalar product. Okay, so, scalar or the dot product. Okay, so, so, how is it defined? See, if you have a vector a and a vector b and the angle between them is theta, when they are co-initial, smaller angle between a and b when they are co-initial. This is a very, very important thing. Otherwise, the whole thing will fall down. So, if they are not co-initial, you make them co-initial. How do you make them co-initial? Because we are free to move the vector parallel to itself anywhere. So, move one of the vectors parallel to itself and position it such that both their tails are together. So, they are co-initial. Theta is the smaller angle because now this is also the angle and that is also an angle. Then you define A dot B as mod A into mod B into cos of that theta. You see mod A is a scalar, mod B is a scalar, cos theta is a scalar. Okay? So, our product is a scalar quantity. It is a scalar quantity. It has got a tremendous use in physics. Because in physics, you were taught work is what? Force into displacement into cos theta. It is actually F dot S. Okay. Work in physics is nothing but the dot product of F and the displacement. So, if, if I am 
applying force like this and the displacement is like this this normally happen a child a child holding a uh, say not the child of these generation okay they operate the remote control cars in our generation we will have some plastic sort of broken car from somewhere and we will attach a thread to that and just keep on moving here there with that thread. So, what is happening? I am applying the force like this and the car is moving like this. Okay? So, it, it is the same kind of thing. No, no, not in your generation I think. Hmm? We are quite savvy. Huh? 90 pay? Huh. So, if it is at 90 then it becomes 0. Because, because what it says, what it says, it is the force multiplied by displacement in the direction of the force. Displacement in direction of the force. This is physics. This is where it is applicable. Now, what happens if this is S? So, mod S is the displacement. If you see this, the displacement along this displacement along the force is s cos theta if this is s then this is s cos theta base upon hypotenuse is equal to cos theta so base is equal to so f into s cos theta or that means the the displacement we are counting that displacement which is in the direction of the force now if someone is applying say say a coolie is applying the force like this and he is moving like this then there is simply no displacement in the direction of the force. The displacement in the direction of the force is 0. So, he is doing, doing no work. So, if he were a physicist and you were also one, then you should be no, paying no money and he will be happy. But it does not happen that way. Okay? So, so, work, the definition of work in physics becomes that. Okay? So, then there will be no work so, and this comes in under our observations. So, we can have certain observations about it. The first of them is the and you actually use this dot, this is not out of fun. You actually use this dot there. Okay? this dot will be used. You, you cannot put a cross. If you put a cross, the whole meaning changes. So, the dot product gives a real number that is a scalar as the result. Okay? It gives you scalar as the result. For two non zero A and B, for non zero A and B, A dot B is equal to zero if and only if theta is equal to ninety degree. So they can both, both be both be they can both be non zero still they the dot together to give you a zero if theta is equal to zero then a dot b is equal to mod a into mod b which can be simply written as a b right if theta is equal to pi why 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 the, does that happen because a dot b becomes mod a mod b cos zero is 1 that is why. What if theta is equal to pi? Then a dot b becomes mod a mod b cos pi is minus 1. So, minus mod a mod b if theta is equal to pi. So, 
see here in the earlier one if you are dotting a vector with itself what happens you get mod a squared and that is the way of finding out the square of the magnitude we will do it soon okay similarly here if i dot this with this they are making an angle of 90 degree so that should give me minus of mod a square this is very very important this you you use it so many times now if that is the case can you tell me the values of this i dot i is what mod i is 1 1 into 1 into cos 0 they are in the same direction i and i are parallel so it is 1 i is making an angle of 90 degree with this so 0 0 because i j k, k are mutually perpendicular they are all perpendicular to each other so j dot i is also 0 j dot j is 1 j dot k is 0 0 huh? this is an identity matrix yes it is an identity matrix. This is an